So you want to get that grad degree. How do you find the right school? How do you get in? And most importantly, how do you pay for it? I'm Brian Kelly, editor of U.S. News and World Report. Our annual guide to America's best graduate schools is bigger and better than ever. And so is our newly redesigned website with enhanced search tools. Browse through more than 1,500 programs at 1,200 schools. Business, law, education, engineering, medicine. And as the medical field continues to advance, how are future doctors being trained to keep up? Our health editor, Dr. Bernadine Healy, looks at what's new at med schools these you days. You have all your care done. And the future of American <laughs> medicine is right here. It's scary, isn't it? <laughs> also this year, we're taking a special look at the older grad students. You know the ones, married with kids and now homework. We talked to a group of 30-somethings attending the Georgetown MBA program. Being 30 is not, is not a restriction and, and it doesn't, doesn't hold you back at all. For me, waiting until I'm 34 to uh, do my MBA program has been beneficial because the focus part has definitely been huge. I think there's a certain level of maturity that comes with you know, being over 30, also having a responsibility of having a family. It's a balancing act, no doubt. Yes, I'm pregnant with my second baby. It's just a lesson in prioritization. Uh, one on the way. Mm -hmm. Right about the end of finals this year. So is older really wiser? I think the older students have something to offer in terms of more professional experience and more life experience to draw on. Maybe it's time for me to go back to school, if I can afford it. It's not cheap, but we can help you. Learn how to find loans at lower interest rates, cut deals for public service work, or tap your company's resources to help foot the bill. That's one heck of a homework assignment, but worth it. So use our grad tools to make sense of it all, and I'll see you at the admissions office.